Okay. Number two. Well, we're going to discuss all these screws. Now, we've already discussed the round-headed screw, the flat-headed wood screw. So now we're going to move on to these others. Yep, this is this is mostly for sheet metal because it's so small, doesn't have a, a lot of threads hanging out, bother anything. There, this is the other sheet metal screw that we were looking at. That's for sheet metal. See, there's no no blank shank there. It's got threads all the way up. That's the that's the way you can tell between sheet metal and wood screws. These two screws here. Same length, same pan head, same Phillips, same everything. The only difference is one of them has less threads, which is fast grabbing in, in lumber. The other one has got like twice as many threads, and that's to pull together sheet metal. So what would happen if you pull this together, if you use this to pull sheet metal together, well, you probably have a little bit of a, a gap in there. But with this one here, with all the extra threads on there, there's there's a better chance of it holding better. And uh, now we're going to... There's there's different types of one, too. Now here, here we've got one that's a hex head, like for a socket, which this is the... Uh, the ones that a lot of AC guys like to use because they can put them in their bit and there's less chance of losing it. And of course they have longer ones. Same thing, it's got a screw type head and a hex head. And then of course then they have the uh, flat head. So there's all different makes and models. They use flat heads for like air conditioner, uh, air conditioner stuff such as uh, return air grills and whatnot, in case they want to have a flush look. It's you know down on the close to the floor. Usually up on the ceiling they do the pan head, but I mean it, it really depends on the situation. But in any case, the nice thing about doing sheet metal work is you don't have to drill any holes because for there's two ways. This this one here has got a drill bit on the end, which you can use this for wood or sheet metal. That's going to work better in sheet metal, but it's for light work because since you're drilling a hole in it, you're taking away part of the holding properties. So this goes in. This would go in your. quarter inch screw and then put this over the hole like I said this you don't even have to drill a hole as you can see right now it has drilled the hole for you this is in for heavier heavier gauge sheet metal such as your AC grills and stuff like that when you need to add some extra screws. Alright. And so we're okay, so we're pulled together. Okay, that's the one with the drill bit. Alright. Now we're gonna change that. We're gonna go to a Phillips head. First one I'm gonna use. Hex, the hex head with the screw bit. So we got it in our screw tip, and you'll see why. AC guys like to use the ones with the bits. Okay, you can already see the trouble I'm having trying to get this thing to go in straight. Now we switch to the yeah, use the same thing. I mean 
yep, still having trouble, but not as bad. Well, yes, I am too. Almost got my finger. Anyway, we're going to get it through there yet. Alright, got that one in there. Whatever you do, whatever you want, whatever you do with sheet metal, you don't ever want to hold it with your hands because you saw that thing spinning. And it's just like a razor blade flying around there, and it'll get you. If I would have had a hold of it, it would have cut my hand all to pieces. These are the second choice of AC guys when they run out of the hex head. Same thing. You can see that's the nice thing about these sheet metal screws, you don't have to drill holes. But now let me show you an important thing about these things. See as they're going through, you can see as they're going through, it's pushing that metal out back, what gives it a little bit more of a, kind of a, like a nut, instead of just a, little thin piece of metal like that well it's pushing it through giving it the effect of of a nut being on the back side all right well this is your other sheet metal screw that i talked about earlier but this is what they call a stove bolt and of course they have to drill a hole for these and uh what they did back then, once they drilled their hole, they stuck this into the to the side or back or whatever they were putting together. And the reason they're stove bolts is because they're so short. They're really not designed for anything else other than sheet metal. And these nuts, if you were to look at a brand new one up close, I mean you can't hardly see these, but at that point right there, you can see there used to be a spike or well there still is but that used to be pointing up and what that spike would do and then if you look at the other end you can see where it's been smashed down to cause that spike and it's usually on all four corners don't know if I can show it all but anyway so what those spikes do they're sticking up and then what you do on the sheet metal all you do is just hold your finger on it as you put your screw in there and uh, you wouldn't have to have a wrench on the back side you would run it up with a Yankee back then because they didn't have power tools in the early days they used a Yankee and then that would that would take one less operation for a guy to put this screw in a stove and that's all these bolts, nuts and bolts, were made for. That's why they got the name stove bolts. And the nice thing about sheet metal screws, you can use them in wood or in sheet metal. And plus they have got, if you were to feel the point on the sheet metal screws, the sheet metal screw points are really sharp and they're designed so that it'll go through sheet metal itself, it'll go through sheet metal, plastic, lumber. The, the same thing again though is if it's in lumber and you're not careful and you get into the grain without drilling a hole you're liable to split it. But that's something you just have to use as trial and error. 